Using Pictory, you're able to convert your scripts into videos, convert articles into videos by simply pasting the URL. You're also able to edit your videos using text, so no editing software required. And you can very well upload your own media and photos and turn that into videos too. For example, in a matter of minutes, I converted my script into a video like this. It converted my script into a video and using the power of AI, it found relevant videos that would go with the text. It also found a relevant music background that would go with it and also captioned it. All that can be done using Pictory and I'll show you how in this tutorial plus more. Hey, it's Aurelius, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to walk you through and give you a tutorial on a pretty cool AI video editing tool called Pictory. To get started with Pictory, simply use the link in the description box below. That'll take you to this page right here and you can click on get started for free. If you want to still be able to create sales videos, marketing videos, social media videos, and perhaps you want to start posting on YouTube, but you don't want to show your face and you just don't want to be on camera, then it might be an ideal solution for you. Because as you saw, you could easily convert your text into videos and use all sorts of media, pictures and videos. Or even if you're a course creator and you want to make educational videos, but simply want to present it in that kind of format, some other users and people who would want to use it include marketers, you've got agencies, bloggers, and I mentioned course creators and coaches too. With that said, let's get started and I'll show you how to use Pictory. Once you've signed up, you'll see a page like this where you can start creating your content and it will ask you which content would you like to repurpose into videos. Now, the first option is script to video and that's the tool that I use to create that example video that you saw at the beginning of this video. And as listed, Pictory recommends it for educational videos, listicle or compilation style videos, coaching videos and step-by-step -step guides. The next option is article to video where you can simply copy and paste the exact, let's say, press release or blog post into this field here and then proceed. And then that'll basically gather some key areas and key text from your blog and convert it into videos. The next tool that Pictory offers is editing videos using text. Now, don't get this mixed up from script to video. It's actually the other way around. So let's say you already have a video recorded, created, or if there is an existing video online that you've already posted, you can easily edit that using text and I'll show you how exactly it works. And the final option is visuals to video where you can upload your own media such as photos and videos that you may have lying around and then make videos out of those. So it's kind of more of a flexible option as opposed to these other three. Let's now create our first video and I'm going to demonstrate how to convert your script into a video. So let's go ahead and proceed. This is where you can paste your text and the first thing you need to add is is your video name. So what is the topic of your video? I've got my script ready and I'm simply going to copy and paste this from Word. That's the title there. And right here, you can either start typing your script or if you've got it ready somewhere else, simply paste it in. Once you've written your script or you've pasted it over, the next thing is to proceed. But before we proceed, I just want to give you a little rundown in terms of some of the options that you have here. First is pasting from clipboard and that's quite self-explanatory. I'm not sure why they've got this button because you can simply copy and paste it over. The one below it called highlight, this one's really handy because you want to allow the AI to be able to find relevant videos and media that will go with this text. Something like uh, five quick tips, how to stay positive. So I would highlight something like this and then it'll find or try to at least find something that would best fit uh, this particular text here. So go through your script and anything that you see that would help the AI find uh, better visuals, that's where you go in and click that highlight and basically just bolds it but it'll tell the AI, you know, find something that is relevant. But I've gone ahead and highlighted some keywords here that I want the AI to find relevant uh, media and visuals for. Below the area where you enter your script, it has spell check and it says yes. And there's no mistakes here, I know, because I've already checked and gone through this particular script. On the right, you'll see characters. So 3,436 characters for this script. However, I do wish they had 
a word count as well. Just that little extra tool would be handy. Above all that, you've got scene settings where there's an auto highlight keywords option and you can enable or disable that or automatically select the visuals for you. And right here, you've got create new scenes based on sentence breaks or line breaks. So you've got, you know, line breaks. That's a line break right here, line break right here. So you can kind of customize this in a way so that it'll create a new scene based on, let's say, a sentence break or a line break as you saw. Or you can select both where it'll create new scenes based on sentence breaks and also line breaks. So you've got sentences here and ones where there's line breaks too. Apart from that, that's all you need to do at this point. And what we're going to do is click on proceed to move on to the next step. Here you'll choose a template based on the library of templates. You've got one that is based on uh, the lemon theme. You've got corporate, uh, red ink, sunrise. Let's go down the bottom and see what else we've got here. We've got a retro style here, orbit. So feel free to look through these templates to see which one would be most suitable for your topic. There is an option to create custom templates. However, you need to first edit a video and then you can save that as a template and then it'll be under my templates. I'm going to select the sunrise theme since it goes with this topic and I'll click on select. Next, choose an aspect ratio. Do you want landscape, portrait or a square format so depending on the platform that you are going to be posting and publishing your video on that'll determine which aspect ratio to go with so let's say you are going to post on youtube then you want to go for that 16 uh, 9 ratio whereas with tiktok instagram reels and shorts you want to go with that 9 16 ratio but let's go with 16 9 and we'll click on continue depending on the length of your script that'll determine the time that it will take to complete the job and process this video all right, so it completed in under a minute. And this is what you'll see next once it's completed. And the first thing you may see is the video and we can easily preview this and this particular scene by clicking preview, or we can preview the entire video if we just wanna go through it firstly. And this itself may take some time, but let's do that later. And the first thing I wanna go through is the scene selection, right? We've got our scenes and we specified that we want to create a new scene based on a new sentence and line breaks. So we've got this first one saying, this video will go over the five quick tips on how to stay positive while under pressure. And it's found kind of a, a background that would go with it. If you wanna move on to the next scene, it's as simple as clicking and there we go. And you may notice that the video that he found may not be relevant to what this is actually about. That's where you can actually go in and create or also replace it with a different video. But more on the customizations later in this video. On the left, you've got the different options that you can play around with. We've got visuals where you can go through the library of existing images and videos that the uh, Pictory uh, website has. There are different textures as well that you can play around with. You can upload your own media too. You can add your own elements by going to elements and there's different things like stickers, you got GIFs and emojis. In the audio section, you can choose a custom background music. You can also add uh, voiceovers and this is powered by AI. Under my uploads, you can upload your own background music or voiceover and there's recent as well. Some text options too, where you can add headings and subheadings and body text, some styles as well. And this has to do with things like the captions and you can see what the default style is and you can use that and apply it to any scene that you want. Under branding, you can add your own logo or intro kind of stinger video. Under format, you can change your video's resolution from a 720p video to a high quality 1080p or optimize your generated video for size. And once again, you can change the aspect ratio of your video from 16.9, to 1.1. But let's go back to story and this is where we can go back to the scenes and edit and delete anything we want. Also customizing each of the scenes. When you select the scene, you can go directly to the text and edit or add anything you want. So let's say this can even lead to added amounts of pressure and then that'll update in real time. On the video interface, what you can do is edit the text and drag it where you want. So let's reposition it somewhere in the center or the middle right there using the guides. You can change the font by going here and let's say we want this font instead. And there we go. Let's say this this video here isn't relevant to this particular sentence. We can easily add our own visuals by going to visuals, search something like stress instead of pressure. Let's use this first one here of this lady and we'll click once. 
and that will replace it and that looks much better. There's an option to preview this specific scene by clicking on preview and that will only play this scene right here, nothing else. You can trim this particular scene by clicking on trim video and using these little scrubbers right there. So if you wanted to start here instead of here, then you can do so. In addition, you can add a voiceover in this scene by clicking on add voiceover and upload your own voiceover if it's already recorded or you can record it directly on Picturey. So if I click on record voiceover, you can see the little record button and that's where you can go ahead and record your voiceover. Some other settings that you may want to use include visuals and text where you can loop the video Video in case that video is short but your text is quite long so you just keep looping that same video. You can even hide the text for this particular scene. Add a visual zoom and pan effect if you want to do so. And one particular option that you will definitely play around with is the scene duration where you can change the timing. This is five seconds but if you have let's say shorter text then you may want to just use two seconds as opposed to five. So you need to play around with it and preview it yourself and that's where you can go ahead and simply customize it. So go ahead and go through each of your scenes and anything where you feel like you need to customize and add particular elements, audio, text, then feel free to click that, let's say elements, and we can add a sticker, let's say this right here, just to play around with it and you can drag it where you want and that's already inserted. The handy option you may want to use if you don't want to use your voiceover is simply going to audio and then under the voiceover tab, you've got options to add different voice talents and based on AI voice, of course, you can filter by male or female and different speeds as well. So let's say you want to preview Ava here. Welcome to Pictory. It has been shown that video in and let's say you like the voice of that we can apply it to this particular scene essentially we'll read out what you have here in this sentence and let's see how it sounds however we need to stay positive in these moments on the subject of audio you may also want to play around with volume where you can control the amount of background music and the voiceover volume and there we go that's how you can add an ai voice to your scenes next you can add transitions in between these scenes by looking in between the actual scenes so you'll see here add transition click it once and then it will give you some options in terms of transition effects let's say we will do a wipe left so now when we go from the scene one to scene two it'll use that wipe left effect. To see the total duration of your video, you can go to estimated video duration, take a look at there, and you'll see it's 5 minutes 39 seconds. And once you're happy with your edit, simply click on preview and that'll give you an idea of what your video will look like. As a little side note, depending on the length of your video, that'll determine how long that preview will take. And this in particular, this 5 minute video, you know, so far it's been about two minutes and uh, we're still going. All right, so it's generated the preview and if I apply it right now. Video will go over the five quick tips on how to stay positive while under pressure. Once you're ready to download your video, simply click on download then to video. Next, let's briefly go over the article to video option. And what I'll do first is go to one of my articles and it's this one here on medium.com. Simply copy the link at the uh, address bar go back to Pictory and then paste it in. And what it has tried to best do is find those key areas of your article. So you've got the title, so don't give up, keep going by myself. And you've got different scenes and you found a relevant video. So we always have the moment in our lives when we feel that thrill of excitement. So it's found that. Now, some of the things may be a little cheesy. That's where you can go in and customize it as you saw in the previous example. So at the end, we've got work hard and work smart and success will follow. So that's the article to video option. Now, if you want to start creating short videos from long videos, then you wanna select edit videos using text or simply put, if you want to edit your existing videos, then you wanna use this option here. So let's go ahead and try a demo video, which is this option here, because this is actually a pretty good video to use. Okay, so in this example, we've got Barack Obama and we've got the text here, the transcript of the video. What you'll see, is the option to basically remove these ums and ahs. Uh, in other words, the filler words. Let's go and skip ahead to this point right here, all right, the start of it, and you'll see Barack Obama here saying ah. Um. Uh, it, but it is not interfering with the rest of our bilateral relationship. If we click on remove filler words, you'll see it's removed. And let's play it from somewhere here. And you'll see that the AI removed the filler words. Agreement on hockey. 
it, but it is not interfering with the rest of our bilateral relationship. There we go. So it's removed it and that will perhaps save you a heap of time in finding those and editing those those yourself. The next option is removing silences. You can specify how many seconds of silence you want to remove. So let's say there's a scene where there's at least a two second silence. You can automatically let Pictory know by clicking enable and click on okay here. And now it has basically gone through the whole script and found any of the scenes where it has more than two seconds of silence. Another option you definitely want to play around with is the highlights option. So if you go to auto highlight, you can select the number of seconds to find those highlights and important points in the video and basically download those clips individually. So let's say we want 23 seconds of the clips, right? And then it'll try to find the highlights for you. Now you can see the highlights. If you go to highlights, you can see what you can select and what will be relevant to create those clips. But let's say you want this particular highlight. So our countries are no different, but in terms of our interests, you know, we click that and we can download the video clips right there. What you can also do is change the aspect ratio. So let's say you're wanting to repurpose this video into TikToks and Instagram Reels. You can go to landscape right here and change it to something like portrait and drag the particular you know subject or person that'll keep that frame there. Below you'll see subtitles where you can enable or disable the subtitles and choosing the maximum number of lines, say if you want one or two. And then you've got templates library where you can choose the styling of the captions. But going back to the highlights, if you find a particular area or scene that you find interesting and you wanna ex actually extract, then you simply highlight it, click on add to highlights, and then that'll highlight it and add it to the highlights list. Once you're ready, to download your highlights, click on download highlights video or customize the highlights video. So you can go and dive deep into each individual highlight video and then customize it just like in the previous examples. And the last tool that you can use is visuals to video where you can simply click on proceed and then upload any photos that you want to include in your custom video. And once all your media files have been uploaded, you can go ahead and simply customize it the way you want by adding additional visuals. You can add elements, text, and so on and so forth. In terms of pricing and plans of Pictory, there's a few options. When you sign up, it's just a free trial and there will be a watermark on your video. So it's not so good if you're going to obviously upload it for commercial purposes or if you're uploading it on YouTube. You wanna definitely go on a, at least a standard plan where you're given the option to create up to 30 videos per month and each being 10 minutes or less. You also are given 34 AI voices, which may be more than enough. But if you're looking to create more than 30 videos per month, then obviously you want to go on to the premium plan. And by the way, these prices are based on a yearly option. If you're looking to simply pay on a monthly basis, go to monthly and now you see the pricing there. If you're finding Pictory a little overwhelming to use, they've got this knowledge base where you can go through some of the guides. For example, if you want to learn how to generate multiple short videos from one long webinar or a video podcast, illustrating the points right here and how to actually do that. But hopefully this video has helped you get started with Pictory. Look down in the description box below to sign up to Pictory so that you can start making your videos with no technical skills. Thanks so much for watching this video and do stick around to watch these next relevant videos.